see if I can find his favorite picture of himself. Cherished memories. Oh yeah, I still watch the video all the time. I feel like I was just there. For Sarah Geisen. They, they get you through. The images remain her only link to the precious past. Oh, well, this was three years ago today. These Kodak moments are laced with pain. It seems like forever ago, but yesterday at the same time. Sarah from Stafford County carries a heavy heart. He earned his Green Beret in the spring of 2017 um, and then deployed in August of 2018. Three years ago, on November 27th, it was 10.53 in the morning. She receives a call from the wife of her younger brother, Drew. She just said he's gone. There's really not much else that she could get out. Captain Drew Ross was killed by a roadside explosion in Afghanistan. It's been the never-ending deployment. He will always be in Afghanistan. The 29-year-old Special Forces soldier was serving his second tour. It's a roller coaster that you don't want to be on. <laughs> I'm missing a limb to a point, and I always will be. Sarah, who is married to a Marine and mother of three boys with another on the way, wants her children to know everything about their Uncle Drew. He would have been a huge part of their daily lives. The family frequently talks about the West Point graduate and visits his gravesite at Arlington. And they're getting to the age that where they ask questions. And those questions are getting, you know, tough to answer. Sarah admits sadness comes in waves. We call them Drew Days. Tough Drew Day. The tough Drew Days can be pretty tough. Watching Afghanistan fall to the Taliban has been especially tough. Everything happening there is happening on the soil where he took his last breath, where he tried to do good for the world and for the people of Afghanistan. In the chaos of America's withdrawal, Sarah is finding hope. I was able to sleep better for the first time in a week and a half, <laughs> knowing that his family was out. An Afghan soldier who fought alongside Drew recently escaped with his family, thanks to Sarah's efforts. They've given so much, they were there the day that we lost Drew. They experienced that more closely than I could. They saw his smile more recently than I had. Gold Star Families is a fraternity Sarah never expected to join. You know, the last FaceTime was the day after Thanksgiving. But she is determined to carry on Drew's legacy. My brother and my husband make it easy for me to say, this is what a respectable good man is. This is what I want you to grow up to be. Sarah is the driving force behind the Drew Ross Memorial Foundation. I mean, he was the never give up kind of guy. A service oriented nonprofit, which will mirror Drew's approach to life. He just wanted to do the very best for everybody, for his country, for himself, his family. He always put other people first. It's like you just go back and you wish that you had just peppered him and asked him for more pictures of him on deployment. But there's never quite enough. Old snapshots and memories. They make it harder, but they help at the same time. They're all that Sarah Geisen has of her little brother. Get Uncle Drew. Sometimes you just need to look at them and cry. But through Drew's dedication, this big sister is finding new inspiration every day. What I want people to know about Drew is that he never quit. That quality in him is what I've tried to make sure that I instill in myself. For Heroes Among Us, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.